All right, what is going on, guys? Good morning. Results. Ooh. Exactly what I was thinking. Well, uh, you guys already know. If you're up this early, you probably open the Dakar app before tuning into this. Just saying. And it's okay. That's exactly what I did at 3.30 this morning, two hours ago. I had to know. And, well, the dog was wondering why I was jumping up and down and screaming. And we did it. There it is. Finally. It took a few stages to get there, but we made it happen. An all Honda podium up top. Adrian Van Beveren taking the stage win on that one. Let's jump right into it. Stage results. You guys know the stage yesterday. Long one. 409 miles total. 270 miles of special. 139 miles of liaison. And we knew it was going to be a fast one. So let's jump on over results for the GP category. Adrian Van Beveren on the Monster Energy Honda. Four hours, 36 minutes, and 46 seconds for him. Picking up five minutes and 26 seconds of bonus time. Very well done there. Ricky Brabeck in the number two spot on the Monster Energy Honda. 437 and 18 seconds. 32 seconds off the pace of Adrian Van Beveren. Pablo Quintanilla in the number three spot. Monster Energy Honda. Four hours, 41 minutes, and five seconds for him, finishing four minutes and 19 seconds back. So very, very well done. Today's stage podium brought to you by Monster Energy Honda Rally Team. <laughs> God, that was corny. <laughs> Let's go to, all right, so the coffee's kicked in. I had that first thing. I'm like, all right, I need that energy to get, uh, get on the microphone this morning because uh, yesterday was a long day. Uh, for those of you who know that my J job, you understand. All right, Toby Price in the number four spot on the Red Bull KTM factory racing bike. Four hours, 43 minutes, and 20 seconds for him. 634 off the pace of Adrian Van Beveren. Ross Branch in the number five spot here at Motorsports Team Rally. Four hours, 43 minutes, and 45 seconds, finishing six minutes and 59 seconds off the pace. Kevin Benavidez in the number six spot, Red Bull KTM factory racing. Four hours, 44 minutes, 59 seconds. Eight minutes, 13 seconds back. Interesting enough, though, remember, Kevin Benavidez won the previous stage. So on last night's stage or today's stage, got a chance to pick up bonus time, but did not capitalize on it as much as Adrian Van Beveren did, only picking up three minutes and 16 seconds of bonus time for opening the stage. Nacho Cornejo in the number seven spot, Monster Energy Honda team, four hours, 46 minutes, finishing uh, 43 seconds. Finishing nine minutes and 57 seconds off the pace of Van Beveren in the number eight spot, Luciano Benavides on the Husqvarna factory racing bike. Four hours, 46 minutes, 52 seconds, 10 minutes and six seconds off the pace. Stefan Svitko in the number nine spot, Slanov rally team. Four hours, 49 minutes and 14 seconds for him. 1228 behind. And then Gonzalez in the number 10 spot, Sherco rally factory. Four hours, 49 minutes, and 55 seconds, finishing 13 minutes and 9 seconds back. So let's take a look. That was your Rally GP top 10 for stage number 9. Let's get on over to the Rally 2 guys. All right, Rally 2, Bradley Cox, welcome. Top spot stage winner, BAS World KTM Racing Team, 4 hours, 49 minutes, and 40 seconds. Dumontier in the number two spot on the Team Dumontier racing bike. It is four hours, 51 minutes, 11 seconds. Finishing one minute and 31 seconds back. Devisi in the number three spot. BAS World KTM racing team. Four hours, 53 minutes and 13 seconds for him. Finishing three minutes and 33 seconds back. And then Harriet Noah on the Sherco TVS Rally Factory bike. Four hours, 53 minutes, and 36 seconds, finishing three minutes and 56 seconds back from the time of Bradley Cox, your stage winner in the Rally 2 category. Jillipon in the number five spot, Deuced Rally Team. Four hours, 55 minutes, and 54 seconds, finishing six minutes and 14 seconds back for him. Mulek in the number six spot, BAS World KTM Racing Team. Five hours, six seconds, finishing 10.26 back. Conrad Dubrowski. Another deuced rally team bike finishing five hours, four minutes and five seconds back. 1425 for him behind the leader. Lanos in the number eight spot. X-Rays experience five hours, four minutes, 28 seconds and 1448 back for him in the number nine spot. Ebster in the on the Kinney rally racing team. Five hours, six minutes, 55 seconds for him. 1715 back in the number 10 spot. Orion Motor Racing Group rider Draj from the Czech Republic is five hours, seven minutes, 41 seconds back, 1801 back for him 
And then just behind him, by a little bit over a minute, number 11, Jacob Argybright on the Deuce Rally team, five hours, eight minutes, 56 seconds, finishing 1916 back. So that is your top 10, well, 11 for the Rally 2 category. Let's take a look at what the overall standings are looking like now. There it is. Ricky Brabeck still leads the 2024 Dakar Rally through stage nine. And it is on the Monster Energy Honda team. 40 hours, 53 minutes and 49 seconds, picking up a total time of total bonus time of 10 minutes and 18 seconds with a penalty of one minute. Uh, looks like uh, one minute seems to be the going going right. Anyway. All right, here we go. Ross Branch on the Motors, uh, Hero Motorsports Team Rally Bike. 41 hours and 58 seconds. That's right. Ricky Brabeck is now leading the 2024 Dakar Rally by 7 minutes and 9 seconds as we're reporting this. Provisional classification flag over Ross Branch, so maybe something going on there. We will find out. And then it is Adrian Van Beveren, Monster Energy Honda Team. 41 hours, 5 minutes and 15 seconds for him, finishing 11.26 back or is 11.26 off the time of Ricky Brabeck. Very nice. Some consolidation up at the top. Nacho Cornejo right now in the number four spot on the Monster Energy Honda team, 41 hours and seven minutes, 35 seconds. He is going to be 13.46 back. So let's just cover the gaps because this is where it's going to get really important. So Nacho Cornejo, 13.46 back off of the time of Ricky Brabeck, which puts him... Two minutes, we'll just go with the first numbers, right? Puts him about two minutes behind Adrian Van Beveren. And then it's going to put him just under six minutes or about six minutes behind Ross Branch. Very good positioning, six minutes out of that. Ross Branch, seven there, three there, four there, seven to four minutes off of Ross Branch's time. We've still got plenty of time to make it. Today, Honda Podium in the Rally GP class. Man, it's looking pretty good. I don't know. But Ross Branch putting in a hell of a ride. Obviously, you know, this would be absolutely great. Interesting enough, yesterday I was watching the Dakar Daily uh, show. And they, they did a thing on the uh, Hero Motorsports bikes. And they don't make rally bikes. Actually, they don't make dirt bikes. I didn't find any. I jumped on their website really quick and I didn't see any. So hero motorsports uh making that bike for him on the rally bike i guess it's it's a factory team one-off or i don't know or did i get it wrong drop a link in the comments i want to see if they've got some dirt bikes to look at so let's take a look here all right let's continue on down so right now we know fourth nacho cornejo he is 1346 back kevin benavidez in the number five spot gonna be 28 12 back for him toby price in the number six spot, Red Bull KTM Factory Racing. He is 35 minutes and 12 seconds back. Luciano Benavides on the number seven. He is on the, well, sporting the number one plate, obviously. Husqvarna Factory Racing. He is going to be 49 minutes back. So long ways, long way to go to get into the conversation of the top three for him. Daniel Sanders in the number eight spot, Red Bull Gas Gas Factory Racing, going to be 59 minutes and 47 seconds back. Stefan Svitko on the number nine spot, Slonov Rally Team, going to be one hour, 23 minutes and 49 seconds back. And then Michek rounding out the top 10 for the overall Orion Moto Racing Group, going to be two hours, 20 minutes and 35 seconds back. So very interesting to see how the front of the pack is breaking up. Not the gap. I mean, there's still time to go, right? So tonight or tomorrow for them tonight for us stage number 10 for these guys we'll see how this one shakes out you know we've got 10 11 12 finish line so interesting to see how this is going to work out i'm trying to figure out how to do the uh the last stage because i feel like this is going to be a nail biter i mean i don't know it's getting pretty close right so seven minutes separating ricky brabeck and ross branch at the moment adrian van beveren uh sitting not far behind in the overall there, 11 minutes and 26 seconds. So let's talk really quick about what is happening on the rest of the field because I checked and they had still not made it to the finish line. Uh, so we'll just talk right now the general standings as it sits and as they work their way to it. Let's take a look here. You guys can't see this, but it's okay. I'm going to put the stage main up so you guys can take a look at how the map is and you'll have an idea where we're at right now. Uh, let's see here. Talking about 
Let's talk about the UTVs right now, the SSV category. That is the category that Sarah Price is in right now at the moment. So with the stage, the way they are running right now, let's see here. Right now, it looks like Sarah Price is going to be upgraded from the number three spot to the number two spot overall for the SSV category. He is She is currently 29 minutes back uh, and anticipated 28 minutes and 16 seconds back uh, through today's arrived special stage. So through today's finish line, they're expecting about a 28-minute gap now for the overall for Sarah Price out behind Xavier Disseltray in the SSV class. So very well done. Just rookie. The car rookie. I mean, done Sonora, done the general badass, right? Stunt rider, all of that stuff. You don't necessarily go out to your first Dakar and put a car on the box. South Racing Can-Am has been around for a long time. South Racing, some really crazy stuff like two-year waiting list to try and get in on these on that program with them. I mean, it's, it's not an easy feat. So she's in making it happen. And I mean, dude, seriously, second place right now, second place overall at the 2024 Dakar rally, you know, Sonora rally school graduate, Sonora rally racer. So yeah, doing really, really well. So let's take a look at the other side of things. The SS four, that was SS four for her SS three. If I remember correctly, Mitch Guthrie, leading the way still through the last stage again this is the anticipated overall let's see if we, if we've gotten some stage results through nine so looks like yeah trying to find him on the rankings here overall all right so total overall right now as it sits 42 hours nine minutes and 25 seconds for mitch guthrie and kellen walsh from the taurus factory team gutierrez rare in the number two red bull off-road junior team going to be 28 minutes and 35 seconds back and then love is con lopez contra contador contador like i don't speak spanish can factory team going to be 36 minutes and 48 seconds back so that is the top three through stage nine on the overall standings provisional classification for gutierrez not sure what is going on on that side of the world uh that is the overall at the moment for these guys none of them except for Lopez Contrado in that challenger class showing up in the number two spot for today's stage. So seven minutes and five seconds off the winning pace of Cavigliasso. Man, these were uh, getting a little hard to pronounce right now for me. Sorry. Okay. And let's take a look down the low down here. can factory team, AJ Jones is in the number five spot finishing up eight minutes and 53 seconds back in the class and then let's take a look and see if we've got anything yet for the ssv these guys were on their way to the finish line as i started recording this so should be in there soon yeah not seeing they haven't posted anything yet for the ssv class so we'll see how that goes okay so we'll draw the line there for now and we will have more results later on today so very interesting to see. I'm looking forward to seeing what stage 10 holds for these guys because, man, we are winding down the stages. So very awesome to see an all Honda podium today in the Rally GP class. Ricky Brabeck stretching his legs a little bit up in the overall. Very, very awesome to see that going on. Looking forward to a little bit more of this and hopefully, uh, I don't know, maybe uh, Adrian Bambeber understood the assignment today. Made it happen, picking up those five minutes. So bringing them a little bit closer to the front for the overall, which is awesome to see that. And then let's see here. Yeah, I like uh, I like this one. And man, it takes uh, you got to go all the way down to fifth overall to find the first Austrian bike. Oof, I'm sure they can't be happy. Me, Monster Energy too. Look at that, all Monster Energy athletes up at the top. Very interesting. And then you get some Red Bull guys. And then Luciano on the Husqvarna factory racing team. I th they used to have a, I think they were rock star back uh, a couple of years ago. Don't know what happened there. They probably thought uh, they probably went to motocross. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see it. I don't know. What do you guys think? Okay. Picks for today's stage 10. What are you guys thinking? Are we going to continue to see this trend? We're going to see another Honda podium. We're going to, you know, or are we going to see a little bit of a mix up there and maybe get some of these guys? So anyway, stay tuned. Make sure you got the bell notifications. If you are watching on YouTube, so that way you know exactly when the stage briefing comes out or the stage preview. I'm going to try and get you guys as much information on this one as they're getting closer. I am starting to see 
notes and things that the organization is adding for these guys that there are very, very tricky. So uh, we'll post something a little bit later if you guys are following on the Instagram so you guys can check that out as well. It is a note from last night's or today's stage roadbook so you guys can get an idea of what these guys have to face. Now, remember, this is a top level like Dakar rally grade note. So that's not the norm. You know, a lot of the northern I, I don't want people to look at it and go, yeah, never mind. So. We'll check that one out, guys. If you're listening on Spotify, you know how to do it. Q&A section down at the bottom. Who do you think? Who are your picks for this stage, for stage 10 coming up? And let's start talking a little bit more about our top picks for the overall at the 2024 Dakar Rally. So hope you guys are enjoying. We will see you guys later on today for the stage preview of stage number 10. See ya. All right, that is a wrap for the Chasing Waypoints podcast. Hope you guys enjoyed the show. Looking forward to our next one coming up. Remember, if you are out riding, do not forget to tag us at Chasing Waypoints. Hashtag Chasing Waypoints. And if you haven't already, get on over to the website. Get signed up for the newsletter, The Bivouac. North America's Rally Raid and Adventure Riding newsletter hey let's have some fun let's find out what are you guys up to let's get you featured if you're a brand and looking to get supported get some eyeballs get some ears on your business absolutely hit us up send us a message at podcast at chasing waypoints but anyway that is a wrap remember shiny side up see you guys